you know, the guidelines for, uh, for screening, many times people read them and they assume that they're for them because it says the guidelines for women at average risk. Well, mm -hmm. how many of us know if we're at average risk? And so you shouldn't assume that you're at average risk, especially if you have family members that have breast cancer. So any first degree family member, mother, father, sister, brother, confers two times the risk. And so those people are automatically in a different category. And so when we look at guidelines, and I'm, I'm coming in for a landing, I promise. But when we look at guidelines, you have to assume that one, you have to know that if you are at average risk, this applies to you. And so the guideline for people at average risk, meaning no family history of breast cancer, are that screening mammograms, screening should start at age 40. And that guideline comes now from US Preventive Task Force. It comes from the National Comprehensive Cancer Network. It comes from the American Society of Breast Surgeons, which is the organization that I belong to. And we see these patients every day. So if you are at average risk, you should start screening at age 40 and you should get a mammogram every single year. If you think you might be at above average risk, if you have family members with breast cancer, you need to see a specialist and determine what your level of risk is so that we can know what screening you need. In general, the recommendation when there's family history is that you should start screening 10 years younger than the youngest person in the family. So if, if your aunt was diagnosed at age 50, you start at 40. If someone was diagnosed at 45, you start at 35. If someone was diagnosed at 40, you start at 30. So it just highlights the importance of knowing that family history if you can. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe, and press the bell icon.